Why not one last book haul? For old time's sake! I just want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. Thank you for helping me pursue my passion. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard of Reads. And as always guys, I am Andrew. And today guys, today I have got a book haul here for you. And guys, this is kind of the final book haul in this here setup because I am moving. And so I've got to kind of get everything hauled and show it to you before I mix it all up into the collection and I forget uh, what I hold. But before we get into the book haul, as always, make sure you are liking and subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content. Also, make sure you're checking the description box down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord, as well as links to all my social media, including information about my Patreon, where I do quarterly giveaways, weekly reading wrap-ups, and other general bookish content. Now, guys, in order to start this book haul, um, I'm not going to be doing the digital purchases, mainly because I went and re-signed up for Kindle Unlimited, so I've been doing a lot of my eBooks through Kindle Unlimited. And also, it's just, this is a very last-minute book haul. We just kind of put in an offer on a house uh, on a whim, and then it got accepted the next day, and we were just like, oh, okay, so now we have to do things. Uh, and I've got to kind of get everything just put in its proper place. And to start, I want to start by doing a special shout out to Silverstone Books. Guys, I have put a couple orders through this small indie bookstore. And guys, let me tell you what, I am super impressed. Guys, these books showed up with no nicks, no dings, no nothing. Like, they, these look like they came fresh off the press. I love when my books show up in pristine condition. Now, these ones I've already unwrapped, but I'll show you the... The wrapped ones here in a minute and i'll even unwrap them on camera for you now we got the soul's instruments book two of the aspect by mark holloway and then we also got the soul's aspect same author same series very gorgeous covers um a lot of my friends have been talking about this series so i wanted to get it in the collection so that i could read it here shortly i then picked up duck it and dire the one hand the 100 solution and the mystery of the murdered guy. These are kind of sci-fi um, murder mysteries and things of that nature, like detective stuff. Really love these spines. I love the covers. These are by GM Nair. Now, that was books two and three, and then I placed another Silverstone order. Now, here is how the books show up. Very nice reflective paper, very well packaged. And let's just go ahead and get them ripped open so you can see what I got. Now, if I am, yep, here is Duckett and Dyer Dicks for Hire, book one. So now I have got all three books. I love these. They are fantastic. And then we have got, let's just wrap it, rip it up. And we have got Blood of the Tainted Winter by T.L. Greylock. This is gorgeous. This is a Norse uh, fantasy. I couldn't pass it up because the cover was awesome. And frankly, I just wanted to read it. I then also got, then I got book two, The Hills of Home, also by T.L. Greylock. These are all in fantastic condition, and I will keep placing orders through Silverstone Books. All right, then I kind of did a massive unhaul of a lot of books, and I took that credit, and I bought two special editions that happened to be at my local Half Price Books. That is The Steel Remains by Richard K. Morgan and The Cold Commands by Richard K. Morgan. These are the subterranean press editions, which means these are signed, they are gorgeous. Um, they are out of print, but they've got these awesome end papers. Um, they've got some great art on the inside. Let's see if I can show that to you. And then of course, they are signed. So I went ahead and got these. Um, I know The Steel Remains is a darker fantasy. I've been meaning to read it for a while. Uh, I've passed on a couple like banged up copies, but these are in pristine condition. No idea why my half price books each had three copies of each. So I, you know, picked those up. I was then sent two amazing gifts. Actually, three amazing gifts. I've got one down here. Hold up. Wait. I was sent three amazing gifts by my friend Sharon Dwyer. This leather bound uh, collection of the Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide. It's got a nice sewn in ribbon and things of that nature. Beautiful, beautiful edition. Thank you, Sharon. And then she sent me the Goldsboro editions of The Color Bound by Rebecca Zahib. And look at that nice 
block sprayed edge, just beautiful gradient on there. And then The Queen's Assassin by James Barclay. And I've got six other books by James Barclay that I have yet to read, but I am so happy. And of course, the block sprayed edges. And because it's Goldsboro, you know that these are signed. So yes, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. That was such a thoughtful gift. I love you so much. All right, and then I went and picked up the UK Illustrated Edition of A Clash of Kings. This is book two in A Song of Ice and Fire. And my buddy Patrick said that the quality kind of came down on the subsequent editions of this particular printing. And you can tell because, like, the spine is bowed, while on A Game of Thrones, it is very much flat. So, I mean, they look slightly different, but I'm still very impressed, and I still love this edition. Very gorgeous. Looks like a grimoire. I am looking to get into, you know, Song of Ice and Fire here soon because it is a series that I have yet to read. All right, guys, I've still got a stack of books because I have no self-control. Now, Alex from Tall Guy Reads, he was snooping around on my wish list because I hit 2,500 subscribers and he decided to send me a very thoughtful gift. And that is Dan Simmons Hyperion in the matching mass market paperback of the editions I already have. It's got that amazing artwork with the Shrike on the cover and this like ship sailing on the planes. I love this edition. Thank you so much, Alex. That means so much to me. I then went and picked up The Thief Who Pulled on Trouble's Braids by Michael McClung. And I believe this one, I'm gonna get the year wrong, SPFBO year four or five. But uh, it's a rather short book and there's three other books that I'm planning to get to as well. This is Amara Fetty's book one. No idea if I said that correctly, but I'm gonna go with it. Uh, so I'm super excited to get to that one. It feels like it might be a little bit of a tongue in cheek sort of thing. But guys, this one, this one's gorgeous. And it's a big, thick book. It's currently entered into the Space Face competition too. That's SPSFC. Uh, but we've got Dark Theory by Wick Weller. Guys, this is Dark Law number one. Look at this cover. This placed second in the cover contest. And I can see why it is stunning. And I cannot wait to dive in when I've got the time because... Guys, this is probably the last book haul for a little while as I just move and, you know, I've got to figure out my finances and my monthly budget and things of that nature. But, but I am so excited. I mean, it's not like I'm hurting for stuff to read. All right. I then picked this one up from my local half price books, mainly because it sounded interesting. Uh, this is Dan Simmons' Drood. And specifically, this is like a, a retelling of the last days of Charles Dickens. And I think there's like, you know, a lot like Edgar Allan Poe, there's a little bit of a mystery surrounding his final days. Like I think they both went missing and stuff like that. And then they just kind of got sick and died or were found or something like that. And this is kind of playing with that idea. Now it's a little bit drier. There's no horror elements to this one. And so a lot of people I think rate this one lower because they're expecting Dan Simmons to do either sci-fi or horror, which is kind of his shtick. And he doesn't lean into that. It's more of a historical fiction retelling guesswork mystery type of deal but i'm here for it because it just sounded awesome i then got christopher g burnings the hellborn king book one in paperback from the man himself he kindly sent this to me signed it personalized it sent me this really awesome to andrew with some art and with another signature on it this is seriously one of the best books i have read in a long time it's fantastic do yourself a favor check out the review and also pick up the book because book two is out. All right, next up, we've got some Stephen King. And uh, specifically, guys, like I'm running out of books to collect for Stephen King. I mean, I, I say I'm running out. I can still get the collections and some other like miscellaneous things. But I picked up in hardcover, Cujo. Uh, this is one I didn't know if I wanted to read, but a lot of people say like this book just slaps. So I ended up picked up the hardcover edition of Cujo. And I know that the ending of this book is a little last lucker, but 90% lackluster, but 90% of this book is supposed to be amazing. So I went and got this big thick edition of Under the Dome. So uh, I have no idea when I'll get to it because this book is beefy. Where's the beef? I don't know why I did that. I then went and got a new copy of True Disguise, The Cruel Gods. I love this book so much. This is one of my top reads of the year please check the description down below for that book review or you can watch it up in the cards either works 
But guys, this is the naked hardcover edition of this book, and it is stunning. It is my baby, and I love it so much. All right, next up, we have got Godfrey's Crusade by Mark Howard. It's surprisingly shorter than I thought it was going to be, but book two of this one is getting ready to come out. Um, what I love about this edition, hold on, I just saw it. If I could, if I could stop flipping through pages, I could show you, is that the chapters kind of have these nice little, just a little, a little bit of flair on the inside, and I just absolutely love that. Nice little map here for you. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this, but man, like the cover just made me want to buy it. So we've got Godfrey's Crusade by Mark Howard. All right, next up, my buddy Theo from the Rekindled Reader uh, did a video on historical fiction, and he was talking about some David Gimmel that I didn't have, and I had recently read the Troy Trilogy, and I was like, you know what? I do want those books, and we should do a buddy read. So I went and got David Gimmel's Dark Prince and the Lions of Macedonia in this nice B, uh, B trade style UK paperback. Uh, these are the Orbit editions. I love these. There's just something so visceral about David Gimbel's writing. So far, he has yet to write a book that I did not love. All right, then I did a thing. And I shouldn't have done a thing, but I did do a thing. And the thing is, is I am now starting to collect the Sharp books in hardcover. Now we've got Sharp's Tiger here in original UK hardcover. Then we've got Sharp's Triumph, which has a signed book plate in it. And then I went and got Sharp's Fortress in this gorgeous mint condition. Like, look at that, the Mylar wrapping, like it's just awesome, I love it. And then I also picked up a signed copy of Sharp's Fury. This is the one I bought first and then I realized, like I got so excited when I saw his signature in the book at my local half price books. And then I realized this was book 11 and I had to buy because you know I'm a collector and I'm absolutely out of my gourd um, that I had to buy the, the previous 10. So I'm only gonna commit to the first 11 because you know that's kind of the, the latest number that I have to because I think there's like 20 of these. But I do wanna get into more Bernard Cornwell, more historical fiction, things of that nature. So we'll see what happens there. And then next up, my buddy Mark Timoney, author of The Blood of the Spear, sent me the gorgeous new edition of the blood of the spear in hardcover he was so kind to send this to me like i was not expecting this um it was just kind of like out of my budget and all of a sudden like i was i got so excited when i saw it and then it showed up and i just about like cried he personalized it to me this has got like a new map it's got some new uh it's just got so much going on for it. this is awesome look at this gorgeous map on the inside uh, i believe i showed off the naked hardcover Thank you so much, Mark. This was such an awesome gift. And I believe I got this on a day where I was just, I was having a day. I wasn't feeling very good. And then, you know, to get book mail on those days, especially like surprise book mail, it's just the best feeling. So thank you so much for making my day. And then, of course, I've gotten and read Stephen King's Fairy Tale. Um, I've got mixed feelings on it. The first 30% of this is amazing. But uh, say what you want about it, but... The cover is gorgeous. It's got this nice portal. It's got this great font. I loved uh, the first 30% of this. And then I was uh, I was okay with the rest of the book. But uh, I'm still kind of stewing in my thoughts. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a dedicated book review for it. Uh, that said, guys, that is my last minute book haul here for September, which you will be seeing here in October. But guys, that's really all I've got here for you. So as always, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons.